Stop motion or stop action photography is a fun and creative genre of photography. While it can be a little intimidating getting started, just a few tips and tricks will get you a long way into creating some really cool and fun stop action images. I'm going to set up in the studio and I am going to share some of these tips and tricks as I shoot some stop action images. So stick with me. I'm going to walk around the studio and the setup and show you everything needed to do a stop action shoot. And I'm also going to put the list in the description. All right, so we're gonna start with the back here and work our way forward because this strobe here in the back is the key light to making this all work. Basically, it is set up with a soft box and then a diffuser, and then the light will shoot through that and illuminate the glass that we have in the front when we set off the strobe. We're keeping some water here so that we can constantly keep filling the glass, and we also have a towel to keep cleaning up. This is kind of a tip one here. It's really important to keep your area dry and clean so that you don't see all of it in your images. We also have a cutting board here with some fruit so that we can keep cutting fresh slices of fruit while we are doing this. And I'll give you some additional tips when we get to cutting the fruit. Here we have the front strobe and this is the light that will illuminate the fruit or whatever you're dropping into the glass when you uh, take an image. And then lastly, we have a camera and this camera is set up so that it will fire the strobes and also it has a remote shutter that you, we can use because we will need to be closer to the glass when we shoot this so that we can drop the object and take an image at the same time to get the motion. If you don't have all the same gear that you can kind of make it work. If you don't have something like, you know, this that's translucent, you can use a white cotton sheet uh, instead of a soft box, you can actually use an umbrella with the barn doors, you know, use cardboard, get creative. You know, you don't need this sophisticated of a setup. And sometimes it's fun to just play an experiment and get creative on how you can use the things that you have to uh, create in the studio the way that you want to. All right, so now I'm gonna cut some of this fruit. And one of the key things that I will point out here is when you cut the fruit, make sure that you cut it very thinly. So make sure that your slices will, are gonna be translucent enough so that when you take and drop it, the light will shine through it. I know this all sounds like a lot of moving parts and a lot of things, but as we start shooting, you're going to see that it's pretty straightforward and we're getting close to taking that first image. So let's do it. As you can tell, it's a little dark. I'm using a Fuji, which has a sync speed of one, one twenty-fifth of a second. And so I find that doing this in a little bit less light just helps the images become a little bit sharper. But what you'll want to do when you're doing this is you'll want to make sure that you are setting your sync speed to whatever your camera says that the highest sync speed is. And what you wanna do is make sure that you have your trigger ready. And this is just trial and error. And here is our first shot. As you do this, you will definitely have a lot of cleanup to do to make sure that you keep your surface nice and clean so that as you're doing this, you are getting really good clean results with your images. And the cool thing 
that I find about this is that every time you do this, you're gonna get something a little bit different. You're going to get different results. The water is gonna go a different way and it will never be the same twice. It makes it a really, really cool and creative medium. All right, so this is where it gets a little more interesting and why the strobe in front is really important. So when you start dropping fruit that is not translucent, what happens is you start having, uh, you start needing to front light the fruit that you're dropping while also backlighting the glass. So we're gonna try this and see how it goes. Oh, I really like that one a lot, but I did not clean up the uh, water. So as you can see with this image, there is a lot of water sitting down below, which isn't the end of the world, but is not necessarily what I'm looking for. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the thumbs up below. It really helps me out a lot. Patience is key here when you're in the studio and you're doing this and you can keep doing it over and over again because, you know, it has to be exactly the way that you want it. All right, so let's talk about the image for just a minute. There's a couple that I really want to specifically talk about. You've seen some of them throughout the image, but uh, one of the things that I would like to call out is back here towards the end some of the sometimes we just miss with our shots and that's okay this is part of the fun other times we miss focus and that's just slowing down and paying attention and sometimes we get it really right or things look really good again some of this is all about patience and making sure that you're getting the images that you want. Here you can see that this is a pretty good image, but I have some water down here that I didn't get cleaned up that kind of just really stands out. So remember, wipe down your surface as you're taking your images. Make sure that you're reviewing your images to make sure you're getting the images that you want and take lots of images before you take down your uh, studio and your lighting. As you can see, stop motion or stop action photography can be a lot of fun. There's a lot of trial and error and it's super creative. Just remember to keep these tips and tricks in mind and you too can create these amazing, fun images. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you wanna see more tips, tricks, and photography gear type videos. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your photography journey.